hello hello and welcome to my channel i am kat the nurse flipper if this is your first time here welcome thank you so much for coming by if you're coming back thanks to you for hanging out with me so i created my channel just really quick to help those of you that are resellers and are interested in reselling and learning more about what is selling now on ebay as well as doing some tips videos about how to improve your sales and better your listing so today is monday every monday i do what sold because we have quite a few sales going out from the weekend. We do have 21 going out on eBay today for $621. Our average is a thousand, so we're a little bit low, which is kind of disappointing for Q4. There are some things that sold really fast that surprised me. I think they might surprise you as well. And there's some good profit items as well. So let's go ahead and get started. out is actually a Donna Karen New York DKNY watch. So I got this watch in a shop Goodwill lot and he less than $10 and this one sold today. It did take about three months for $48.99. It's a really kind of heavy duty watch there. You can see the DKNY. It is used. I did pay the jeweler to put a new battery in. So I am about $15 in. It sold for $48.99. So we are going to make about a $32, $33 profit. Watches are good. I sold a $90 Michael Kors watch from the same shop, Goodwill lot. I'm not a big watch fan though. And that's because I tried replacing the batteries and watches and my fingers are not very cooperative with little batteries so i do have to take them to the jeweler if i decide they're valuable enough to put batteries in and that is the only time that i do it so they have to pretty much be right at that 50 dollar price point like this one or higher for me to put a battery in it otherwise what i do is just list them as is say they need a new battery most watches if they just need a new battery are going to work and i'm kind of taking a gamble they're saying they just need a new battery but i've never had one come back not working up next is this tray cording couple on brass so i do a lot of cording couple on like porcelain and ceramics never seen one on brass but this was in a cart lot that i bought from an online auction and i am going to do an online auction video for you guys so i spent about 1800 dollars on three items that i picked up on saturday and I'm going to talk with you guys Wednesday about how much I spent, why I spent it. Also show you another auction haul because people always ask me how much they would pay. So look for that video on Wednesday if you're interested in that. So five bucks into this an online auction haul. This one sold for $15.99 in about three months. And this is not something I probably would have picked up while I was out thrifting, but it was in my lot. So I got it and it is close to a $10 profit. Up next was in another online auction lot. This was not a one that was shipped to me. This was a local one and it wasn't on high, but it, I have a little local auction site I use. This is a Canon lens. So I actually was less than $5 into the box. So I am pennies into this lens. This is a 28 millimeter F.28. The lower your F stop, typically the more expensive your lens. And you can see here the 2.8. And it's also written here. That's how you would know what to type. So pennies in $69.99 sale. This little lens was the biggest sale of the weekend. We are making over a $60 profit. So keep your eye out for Canon lenses as well as vintage Canon cameras. They sell very, very well. Next to DVD, Secret Rivals 2. That one sold for $5, so we're making about a $3 profit on that. Next is one of the items I was surprised sold fast, and then when I mean fast, it sold in a day. So we started listing some stuff from my personal buyout that I did as we're working through the death pile, and we found this ornament, and my niece put Snoopy, and I agree, it kind of does look like Snoopy. It's a little handmade ornament. So I am pennies into this. I got a whole tote full of older ornaments. This one sold in a day for $5 plus the buyer paid five in shipping. So we're making about $4 profit on that. And I'm okay. Like this is tea tiny, super easy to photograph, easy to list. And it sold in one day. And then a spoon. I've told you a lot of times, 
do not pass over spoons and silverware. This one is sterling. I will see if I can get the mark here for you. So this one says International Prelude Sterling. And so you would be able to see that. I am less than a dollar in. It sold for $30 for one spoon, 30 bucks, plus the buyer paid for in shipping. This is over a $25 profit on a spoon. Next, and I'm really glad this sold because I keep buying them even though none have sold. So this is a painting on slate. It's really cool. It's got the mallard duck. It's got a barn and a snow scene. It is signed and it does actually have a sticker about the artist on the back. I paid a dollar for this at the thrift store. I, I pick up every one of these I see because I think they're so cool. They're painted on like rock. And this one's sold for $15.44. So it's about a $13 profit. Like this would make a cute little Christmas gift though. You know, it's artistic. It's handmade. So maybe that's selling for Christmas presents. Next is this Panasonic SDR 7 S26 480 megapixels. Pixels. I don't know. Um, I picked this up at a church sale a few weeks ago. I did not put in a thrift box because I only picked this up. This is the only thing I got at the sale. I paid $15. It sold for $55.99. So we're making about $35 profit, but it sold in less than two weeks. Keep your eye out for the small like handy cam type recorders because they sell very well. I did not test this. It did not have the cord, but it does have the original box as well as the manual. I just make sure to really kind of draw attention to the fact like this does not have a cord because you don't want this to get to the buyer and they're like, where's the charging cord? You want to make sure that you put it in your title as well as your description that it is not included. I'd buy that's going international. So these are some Nike Airs. They would have been worth money but I did not inspect them. So make sure you inspect, trying to see, so I can show you guys. Look at the wear on the shoe. I did not notice that it had as much wear as it does. Look at the front. These, I accept an offer of $18 plus international shipping. I paid five, so they're gonna be about a $10 profit, which I'm okay with. Had they been in better shape, they would have been worth over $50, and that's my bad for not looking at the shoes thoroughly. So whenever you pick up shoes and clothing, make sure you check them over for defects. I'm very, very guilty of not doing that. And then you could spend this money, get home, see the defects, and you're left with something that a lot of times might be worthless and not even worth you listing. Another item from that same box of ornaments that I am pennies in. This is super cute, though. This is so cute. This is Gifco. It's a little, like, snowman. I don't know if it's a snowman. Look at its face. It's so cute. But it is in the original box. It is hand-painted bisque. It sold for $5 plus the buyer paid five in shipping. It actually still has its cute little thing. My niece left the $3 price tag on. I'm actually going to leave it on too because it only sold for five. So I am perfectly okay with that. And yeah, it's going to be about a $4 profit after fees. Keep an eye out. I'm okay selling these little Christmas ornaments one by one because if you lot them up, you're only going to get a dollar or so a piece, if, if not less. And again, they're like front back, take a measurement and you're done. And they're really easy to ship when it's a single ornament. Next is a pair of Breezy's underwear. I cannot find them. I went and got them and now I can't find them. It looks like a bomb exploded in the shed because I sore so much and then I had a live haul video last night. If you missed that video, check it out. I show you everything I got at Renninger's at the Extravaganza as well as stuff from three yard sales that I stopped at when I was on that trip. And I, I do want to say a special thank you to those of you that bought stuff from me which was not my intention doing the haul but I figured if I'm showing stuff and people want to buy it then I'm okay with that make a little bit of profit sell it fast don't have to list it and yeah so to all of you who purchased something during the live haul thank you I very much appreciate it so these breezy panties sold for all two dollars and 44 cents I have had these listed for almost two years they were off of a QVC palette I got some other panties and all of the panties are new I got some other panties in that palette that sold for almost $20 a pair. That brand was Soma and I wish I could have got more, but it was a limited supply. They sold out really fast. So if you happen across like at a yard sale or even at the thrift store or something, these are in like 
plastic bags that are sealed there from QVC and HSN. Keep an eye out because some of those sell pretty high. Next up, another fast seller, guys. Look, it's like the little rattan pot holders. I am less than a dollar in. These sold for $12 in two days. Two days, $10 profit. Keep your eye out. People like the vintage stuff. The buyer paid six in shipping. These are very light. They are not breakable. They will go in a poly bag. So stuff like that is very, very easy for you to ship if you are concerned about shipping. Watch for stuff like that. The vintage hankies are really easy to ship. Clothing might be a little bit of a pain to list. I personally don't mind it, but it's really easy to ship for those of you that might be new. Next are some vintage lures. These are spoons, I think. Do not get me if I am wrong. I am not into fishing with lures. Um, these two came in a tackle box on pennies in from a personal buyout and the buyer paid $8.92 plus five in shipping. So we'll make about a $7 profit on these. Little cross stitch book, $3.67 plus the buyer paid four in shipping. I pay less than 50 cents. It's about a $3 profit. I know a lot of this is low profit. I, I know that. And what I say to you is these low profits are typically very easy to list, very easy to ship, and I typically get them for under 50 cents to a dollar. And I'm okay with making two or three or four or five dollars profit if it's in a big lot and there are like a hundred items. I am okay with that. You have to decide for yourself what your time is worth. I actually did the math for someone in a comment who told me I was wasting my time. If I make like three dollars but i can do 20 of them in an hour that's 60 dollars an hour and i i'm okay with that so you have to decide what's okay for you next are these two little portugal vases so i put these together only for one reason one of them is chipped so typically i would list these individually these two i listed together they sold for eleven dollars and 89 cents Plus the buyer paid shipping. They are marked Portugal on the bottom. The buyer did pay $9. These will go over a pound once there is padding material added. So you do have to calculate that in. By themselves, they're light, but once I add a box and some bubble wrap, they're gonna go over a pound. Next is this cute little kiwi bird. This is Pawa, which is Australian's abalone. And this one sold for $9.95 plus the buyer paid five in shipping. I am less than a dollar in in a jewelry lot on this little pen. Tell me you would have listed this. This is very, very mid-century modern retro. It's got some stains, got a little bit of wear, but it's got the lime green. It's not really coming through the true color on here. It's got the pinks. Sold in two days, two days for $11.89. I am pennies into this. This is over a $10 profit on an oven mitt. If stuff looks retro and looks vintage, it probably will sell. You just have to keyword it right. Let me tell you guys what I put on that. I put vintage fish avocado green, pink orange themed retro mid-century modern kitchen. That is what I put and it sold very fast. Or these Coke salt and pepper shakers. I paid $3 for these at the antique mall. They sold for $13.71 in about three months. So they are about a $9 profit after fees. Nice thing about stuff in original packaging. Most of the time it's got styrofoam, it's already protected. So that'll be pretty easy to ship. Another $3 item, $2.97 to be exact, but it's a koozie. Again, two seconds to photograph list and ship and throw it in a poly bag. I paid pennies for that. I'll make about a $2 profit. And then when we got some bras, more stuff from the QVC palette, again, two years old, $8.94 free shipping. I'm a couple dollars in, so they're gonna be about a $3 profit. Lots well, of $3 profits here. It adds up. I have $622 going out. I do get asked all the time, that is the sales plus the shipping. So it typically is about 50% of that is my profit. So about $300, which again is a little low for me for the weekend, but that's okay. And then my husband coming in with the save for the weekend. 
he sold this Pokemon card, which he did have graded. We didn't pay anything really for the card. I think we were like $10, $15 in for the grading. This one sold for $69.62 in about three months, and we will make about a $50 profit on this Pokemon card. And that is it for eBay. But now I am going to show you what sold over on Facebook and Poshmark. This week, there are no Mercari sales. Last week was the opposite. There was only Mercari sales. So let's take a look. First is these two vintage lures. These sold for $10 over on Facebook. And then the Southwest Museum Handbook sold for $12 on Poshmark. A little brochure over on Poshmark. Penny's in. Going to make about a $10 profit on that. And this golfer's game is another death pile item that was listed for less than two weeks, sold for $13 over on Facebook. So I got this for my personal buyout. I'm less than a dollar in. will be about a $10 profit. Gilmore Girls sold for $5 over on Facebook. Seems like the, the DVDs really do well for me over on Facebook. They're where I sell the majority of them. I sold this Praise St. Anthony necklace for $5 on Facebook. Riding the Bullet, Stephen King, another $5. And these totals are not in that $622, just so you guys know. And then the Truman Show sold for $5 as well. So not a ton of sales over on Facebook, unfortunately. But that's okay. You're going to have slow times. I wish we didn't have slow times in Q4, but unfortunately it happens. And I am going to show you guys after this, after I give some thanks for some coffees, I'm going to show you guys a clip from somebody at Renninger. So stay, stay around for, for after the coffees. Somebody at Renninger's, this gentleman is very, very nice. He is trying to get rid of his inventory. He is five hours south of me in Pompano Beach, Florida, and he wants a hundred dollars per tote like pretty big tote, hundred bucks. He said there's Murano in there, there's nice porcelain, there's nice ceramics, and there's jewelry. And he has jewelry separate from those. So I'm thinking about it. I want you guys to see a clip, listen to me talking with him, as well as see some of his stuff he had. So I'm gonna show you that, but let's do some things for coffees first. And for those of you who do not know, buy me a coffee is a way to tip your content creators, myself and most of the content creators I know have buy me a coffee because they only take 3% from us versus YouTube taking 30% from us. So I really do appreciate those of you who got me coffees. Lori Stewart bought me a coffee. Thank you so much, Lori. And then Melissa's Mercantile bought me a coffee. This is me sharing profits from two of my sales with you. One, because because of pottery and pricing high knowledge you shared with us and the other because I really wanted to turn down an offer based on principle and emotion but I accepted it because it's business. I can't even express how grateful and thankful I am for the knowledge and motivation you and your channel give me every single day. Thank you. Melissa, thank you so much. I'm really happy to hear about your sales. I'm really happy to hear how I've helped you. It, it, it helps when I am here doing this, talking to you guys. I spend a lot of time. So getting some feedback is very, very nice. It is beneficial. I love getting screenshots of stuff you sold either like from my thrift boxes or that I have helped you learn and know to source when you are out. And then Allison sent me two coffees and said, I don't know how you find the time, but thank you for all you do. Allison, I don't know how I find the time either, to be honest. I told you guys last night, I will tell you guys again, my birthday is on Saturday, but tomorrow I'm going zip lining. I'm going zip lining in the canyons over in Ocala, Florida. And then after I'm going to go horseback riding. So my 19 year old daughter is coming with me zip lining. We actually went 10 years ago when she was nine and the memories popped up and I'm like, oh, I should go do that again. So we're going zip lining. We are both going to wear GoPros on our helmets. So you will get some footage and then afterwards we are going horseback riding down into the canyon so first we're gonna fly over them then we're gonna ride through them on horses and my mom is coming with us for that so we should have a good time i'm hoping to get you guys some footage and let you see how fun it was 
And then Brenda sent me four coffees. Thank you so much, Brenda. She says, hi, Kat. Thanks for great content. I started following you and watching your videos along with other resellers. I have been a random eBay seller for 20 plus years. My husband and I are retiring in two years and I want to resell full time once we retire. So I have started getting serious to help me learn how to source and sell. I also opened a booth at a local antique mall earlier earlier this year and have set goals for myself there as well. This will be an important source of my income for my husband and I in our retirement and not just a hobby. Juggling a full-time job, the booth and eBay is a study and time management skills and it is for sure. For those of you that are doing this while working full-time, it definitely is hard to juggle and it can, it can be hard to fit it all in. For me, what did it is I had a goal at the end of it. So if you think of your goal at the end of this, whether it's paying off debt or saving up for a vacation, for me, it was going part time. That's what I wanted to do. And I had that goal in mind. And that's what kind of drove me to do what I do. So she said, I'm really enjoying it. I live in Columbus, Ohio. and We have 30 plus thrifts in our area and auction Ohio on high bid. Plus, this sounds like an amazing sourcing area. I have nowhere near any of this. Plus, estate sales, church sales, flea markets to source from. This drives the prices up, though, sometimes and makes it a little bit harder. Thank you for all you do. Brenda Rushka on Facebook Marketplace and Banbury Vintage at Heritage Square Antique Mall, Columbus, Ohio. Thank you so much again for the coffees. I really do appreciate it. And I think that's awesome. And I think you'll do well. It sounds like you've got a good start. So just keep pushing through, build it up until you hit that retirement. I built it up till I went to part time. I might hit it and try to build it up again when I decide I want to step out of nursing even further. Deborah Davenport bought me a coffee and said, thanks for sharing the video. It's amazing how undaunting you are by having to make your own box. She's talking about the box I made for the crazy painting that I sent or the poster that I sent. Um, I'll have to remember this when I have to get that creative. <laughs> Thank you for the coffee, Deborah. I really appreciate it. Jackie bought me three coffees and said, thanks for your help. Jackie, you are so welcome. I greatly appreciate it. And then Jamie bought me a coffee. Thank you, Kat, for the great content. I'm a new reseller on eBay and I've learned so much from you. You have taken the time to answer all my questions and I truly appreciate that. Thanks again. Jamie, you're so welcome. And to the rest of you, I am always available. Hit me up on Instagram. That is the best way. Facebook doesn't always notify me when I get messages, but I try and check that regularly. And yeah, I, I'm pretty available. So if you have questions, I really am happy to help. And then Carmen bought me three coffees. So much great info on your videos. Thank you, Carmen. You are so welcome. I am so happy to help. I appreciate the coffees and appreciate you watching. And Marsha bought me a coffee. Thanks for teaching me so much and answering my question quickly. Marsha, you are so welcome. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate you. And then Deborah bought me a coffee and she just put a blue heart. Deborah, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Mabel, Miss Mabel bought me five coffees. Love your show and information and your son is so cute. I wish you great success. You seem to be doing good. Thanks and happy Thanksgiving. Miss Mabel, you're very welcome. Thank you so much. And to all of you, in case I don't see you again in the chats or premieres, I hope you have a really good Thanksgiving. I am working Wednesday, but I will be off on Thursday and Friday and then Saturday is my birthday. So, all right, guys, I am going to show you the clip of this nice gentleman that I met down in Renegers. And this is why I tell you to tell people what you do. It helps more than it hurts. I have been doing this for a long time. You will make more connections and you will get more opportunities if people know what you do. So I told this gentleman I resold. I bought from his booth. And he... let me just show you the clip. Let's take a look. So tell me what you have at home that you're wanting to get rid of. You said 15 buckets? I have at least about 15 buckets. Uh, eclectic. It's, uh, uh, I have a lot of uh, china and um, a lot of jewelry. A lot of... Uh, and are they five gallon buckets? They are the, um, the tubs. Like this? Right here. Oh, the big ones. The bigger tubs, yes. 
Okay, and you have 15 or so, and I you were... I say 15 or maybe 10 and then five small ones. I okay. have jewelry, a lot of jewelry. All That's the not in the tub stuff? That's uh, not in the tub stuff, and um, there are some in the tubs. Uh, I don't know what's in there because... I you said you haven't went through it, right? I haven't gone through it. Okay. I, I go to uh, north in the summer and here at Florida in the winter. Okay. And um, But there's a lot of nice things uh, from, you know... Uh, red coral to different things to okay. nice china to murano to different things some religious things i have eclectic it's a little bit of each and you were wanting a hundred dollars for per or bin bucket, right bucket yes. okay so this is some of his stuff guys where you will see some of what he's got so i'm probably going to call him and see about getting those all right guys so what do you think about that should i I'm thinking I might go buy all, so he told me he had 15 buckets. I was thinking like five gallon buckets. He meant big totes. He has 15 big totes in his garage in Pompano Beach, Florida, and he's offering them to me for $100 each. I'm sure that is negotiable depending on how many tubs I get. I would have to get an Airbnb down there for the night because five hours long drive. I would have to take my SUV because 15 tubs <laughs> is a lot. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking about doing it and I'm thinking I could maybe look at the tubs that are hopefully less breakable stuff to put into like thrift type boxes for you guys. So let me know what you think. Do not forget to come out tomorrow night, Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And every Tuesday we are live with our reseller chat. We will, we meaning me and Julian, Bearded Thrift Machine, will be live with Troy from Mountain Man Treasures, good friend of mine who has been on several times before, as well as Miss Taffy, who has also been on before. So I'm really happy to have both of these guys back. I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you so much for hanging out with me in the premiere. I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.